Now I just want to show you this book by Axelrod. It's his mini atlas. I'm not even sure if it's in print anymore. But I actually bought this book in 1991. And believe it or not, the first thing I did when I got this book as a young teenager was to memorise it. Um, I don't know where I ever got that much free time. But I basically started on page one and memorised the scientific name and requirements of every single fish. So the fish at the start I tended to know much better. And then I could just glance at the page and know every single fish on the page. And looking back on that, that was quite a feat. When you're young, you definitely have a lot more free time than you do when you're older. So looking at these pages really bring back memories of, of um, when I was younger and when I started learning all about fish and when each fish was sort of revealing exciting information. And as a hobbyist, as you start keeping the different types of fish, and you start learning more about that fish and how it's evolved and and um, how it's occupied its natural habitat and it really is an interesting hobby but I really think that the nature of the hobby is governed by your knowledge and the more you learn the more you um, understand the little features of the fish and and um, and why the fish have evolved to be exactly what they are um, what the fish eat in the wild, what they what they respond to best in aquariums, how to breed them, the water conditions that they like. Yeah, it's just really interesting to learn all of this stuff. And when you buy a book like this and you go through and start learning all the fish, you find that once you go to aquarium shops or you travel overseas and you see certain fish that you haven't seen, it just really makes it's just really exciting to see what was once a picture basically come alive and um come alive in every sense of the word so so come alive because you've now seen the fish you've seen it swim around you start to learn more about it you start to learn the little idiosyncrasies and tricks and and um, um any techniques you need to keep or breed them Yeah, it's just an awesome hobby. So doing things like sitting down and memorising books, which was something I commonly did back in the early days, um, I, I really did enjoy that. So anyway, I'm, I'm not sure if this book's still in print. I'm not sure if you can go and get yourself a copy. But, um... If you want to open up to the world of fish, um, I guess my suggestion is the more you read, the more you learn, the more you identify, then, yeah, the more you tend to enjoy them. And once again, the, the mysteries of of learning all about various fish and then seeing them in in the aquarium and then taking it one step further and seeing them in real life is really fun, interesting and beautiful I reckon. So starting with the, the not knowing anything, then learning a little bit, then learning a lot, then having experience with that fish, that whole journey with each individual fish is, I think it's it's never stopped to be interesting to me.